I use a lot of different woods. I prefer to plane them as opposed to sanding. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about how you tackle difficult woods. Here's a piece of yellow cedar. I love planing this stuff for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's so easy to plane. Number two, it smells fantastic. And number three, the finish off the plane is second to none. So all I have in here, this is a uh, standard 45 degree frog. Blade sharpened at 25 degree primary bevel. A couple extra degrees for a secondary, a couple more for a tertiary, up to 16,000 grit. And just to get the blade adjusted so it's parallel to the sole. And it should be able to pull a shaving off here that's there. Now, if you run your hand over that, it's beautiful and smooth. You're not going to do anything to improve it. All right, well, that's really easy wood to plane. Here's a piece of, uh, I would call it figured maple. Some might call it fiddleback. But it's hard maple. It's got a lot of figure in it. You can see it. Now, same blade, same angle of attack, same everything. With a very, very light pass, I should be able to plane that and get just as smooth a surface as the piece of cedar. Gorgeous. You look at that real close, there's no tear out. You're not going to get it any better with anything else. You didn't have to mess around with closing the throat. Just had to have a really sharp blade with a, a very light pass. Now, you deal with something like this, Purple Heart. And if you look at it, it appears that the grain is running that way, so I'm going to try planing it in that direction. If you're wondering why it's not really purple, it's because I just milled it. It takes a few days of exposure to UV light. Same blade. This stuff is extremely hard on blades. Now I'm getting a, well I was getting a full wood shaving. But if you look at this closely, I may have to bring the light in for you. But you can see that there is a band running down through the middle right here that is producing torn grain. Can you see it? smooth over here, it's smooth over there, but there's a band that runs right down through like that and it's torn up. It's torn up bad enough that you wouldn't want to put a finish on that. Now, what I can do, or my first attempt at improving that, is going to be with a high angle blade. Now they used to sell these as what was called a York pitch. There's an example, it's an antique but the blade is pitched at a higher than 45 degree angle and it was really good on figured wood, controlled tear out, it was harder to push, it was also expensive. We can do it with the blade. So what I've done is I've gone in and instead of a little tiny back bevel that I normally do with my sharpening procedure, I've put on a purpose about a millimeter and a bit wide, 20 degree back bevel, polish it up like just like you would the back of a uh, chisel now what that's going to do, if you do the math on this, the blade is held at 45 degrees, but because there's that 20 degree pitch on the front, you're adding 20 degrees to it, so now you're planing at 65 degrees. It does a couple of things. <laughs> it makes it a lot harder to push, but it also does a lot to control tear out. It also makes the edge fairly strong because it puts that much more metal directly behind the edge. So let's try that and see what we can do with that ripped out part right down through that center of that board. I gotta get the blade parallel to the sole. I'm advancing the blade a little bit each time until I get a... I'm gonna drop that down a little bit. This takes a lot more push. So I wanna put my weight behind it. There's where, there's where the torn grain was. I can still feel some of it right here because I didn't go enough. I'll, go, I'll take a few more passes on that and get to the bottom of those.
this is probably I would say three times harder to push there now I don't feel anything when I run my fingers in both directions you see it okay so all I did was start with a regular blade I had to use a jig in order to do it and make it consistent with a thousand grit actually I started off on the grinder and I actually created that 20 degree back bevel and then I started polishing it from I with 1000 grit I got rid of the grinding marks and then I just walked it through 4000 8000 up to 16000 when you put the chip breaker on you have to make sure the chip breaker is back far enough you don't want it sticking out over that little bevel or else your shavings are going to jam up underneath we saw it like that with a chip breaker already mounted so it's just a matter of taking off your lever cap taking out your standard one and putting in this one use it when you're done take it out put it back as I say you wouldn't want to keep it in there all the time because of the extra effort required to push it but if you're looking for a solution for those figured woods particularly things like purple heart and sometimes babinga that just do not plane well try high angle blade and it may be the fix you're looking for